Uh, you fit. You oh, fit. Okay. You'd be fit. Corey Smith, Declan Minson, they're going to be leading off the front row. It's heat one. The Bull Shop Group Speed Car WA Speed Car Championship. We're set to go. And away they go. Good start on the outside, Declan Minchin. Very good start from him, but also Daniel Harding bounces straight to the front and will go straight to the lead. Looking out for Caden Nanders. He's moved up to fifth in the early stages and also starting to make that move. The 71, the 70, I'm sorry, the uh, number three there. And that is of Nick Rowe, who's gone very well to start with. Oh. It's a huge accident. Oh, no. Oh, Massive two, is two Tom Payette, who is one of them. Wow. Tom Payette is one. And I think the other one might be Daniel Golding. But Tom Payette has had a big, big spin coming into TD Granny Flats and Modular Homes turn one. Oh. And we have the red lights on. Cars, but uh, he's getting out of that car. So that is uh, the first thing that is, uh, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, one emerges. Both of those two cars have spun multiple and flipped multiple times as, uh, it is very, very sad to see them go out in this way so early in the night, given that uh, we do have a speed car title that was up for grabs tonight, and it may well be over before it's even begun for these two competitors, Dan. Indeed. So that looks like it might actually be Corey Smith in the 89. Just having a look out there. But it was a heavy, heavy hit from Tom Payette going into the wall. It may have got clipped going into the wall there. We'll wait for these drivers to get themselves the A-OK. -okay. So it there's the Corey seven. Smith in the other car. Yeah. As Tom Payette's out of the seven and being helped into the buggy just to go checked out by our medical professionals. It was a big lick. He did climb out of the car under his own steam, though. That's what we do know. Yep. So we'll let him go get seen by the infield medical staff who have arrived here on the scene as we get a chance to check out the replay on this one. It's a big lick for the opening heat of the night. So you'll see here just Corey Smith clipping the back or the front oh. there of Tom Payette and then he's gone. So Payette's probably gone into the back there of Corey Smith. Well, I'm not sure he did, but I'd like to see it again. We'll see it again in just a moment, but Corey Smith still in his car at the moment. So here's the replay. Got Manders on the inside. He's not affected by this. You can see Smith obviously coming into the turn. Payette is just going to clip a little bit now. Oh, he rides his wheel. That's right. Seeing that at slow motion, it's obviously a little harder to see if Smith was coming off the speed a little bit and backing into Tom Payette, but both of them just having a heavy hit and that's just an unfortunate way for their heat to finish up as Corey, Smith Corey Smith's out. Out of the car, folks. Put your hands together, Perth Motorplex. He's out and moving around. He was talking with the fire crew for a few moments, but he's going to just have a quick chat with our medical staff infield. It's a horror sight to see to start off your night. It's good to see both drivers walking away from the cars that are both very much torn up for the opening race of a WI speed car title tonight. Toe for Mitch infield, as I call him. Well, for the last five seconds I have. Uh, Chris Mitchell infield, if there's anything that you uh, are able to impart for us, let us know and jump on in, Chris, as the red lights are still on. So these cars will be attended to as we have a look at another replay now. So this is that replay that we're seeing. Oh, look. It's a bit half and half. Like, it's very hard to say either is 100% at fault on that. Well, it's just uh, riding a wheel, isn't it? But yeah. it just shows you. I mean, uh, what it actually does do is uh, just demonstrate how fast the cars are going. When you see them uh, just come to a halt like that, and yep. we're, we're only talking a, a track that's 20 metres wide, and uh, it's only 500 metres in circumference. But to Keep actually see them, cars as well. they're, they're only 500 kilos, not even 500 kilos yeah. rolling weight with driver. They have no aerodynamics, so as soon as you take the tyre off the ground, which is what happened there when Tom Pett rode a wheel. 
It's all over. You're not and, really getting control of that thing. And the speed of the flips that they're making as well, because they're such a small car, they really flip around really quickly mm. in the air uh, when they make contact. Testament and, to the safety equipment, though, yes. doing its job. There's tons of equipment in these cars, right down to the uh, construction of the seats themselves, the fire suits, head and neck restraints, and even in cases, arm restraints to keep these cars together and help protect the, the driver's health and safety in these machines. It's a testament to that equipment that's been evolved over years that means that uh, both drivers have been able to walk away from their separate incidents. They've both seen the ambulance staff on the infield and they're both actually being driven away uh, in a Can-Am buggy at the moment. Uh, Corey Smith just giving me a thumbs up, so that's usually an encouraging sign, although he's still wearing the helmet sitting in the tray of a Can-Am. Well, we hope both of them are A-OK -okay as Buddha's car is being towed into or picked up and towed into the pits right now so just a bit of a patch up out there at turns one and two once that done what that is done and Corey Smith's car is 